Hey squaddies and welcome to Thriving with the Sussexes. My name is Deanna and I'm here to report on all things Sussex. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now let's get on with it. Hey squaddies, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening whenever you're listening or watching. Hello. Be sure to check out memberships. You can join if you're interested. You'll be in a company of equally amazing squaddies. And just like with all my information, I'll put the links inside the description box. Thanks. Doria Raglan was absolutely stunning. So according to information that I got from Twitter and Instagram, Doria Raglan, who is Meg's mommy and Harry's mommy-in-law, attended the This Is About Humanities 5th Anniversary Soiree in Los Angeles this past Saturday. It was apparently a star study event, but I could care less about the other celebrities. Not to sound mean. I mean, everybody looked nice and everything, but I'm just here for Doria. For the Saturday event, Doria wore a pink and orange paisley dress, which she paired with simple gold jewelry. She kept it simple, and this is where, of course, Megan gets her amazing style from, from her mommy. The dress is by J. Crew, and the beautiful shoes are by Chloe. She was looking like a foxy, foxy lady. I love the 70s looks. She looks so sexy and sophisticated and just, just amazing. I loved it. So I visited the website for This Is About Humanity and read what it was about. It said, This Is About Humanity is a community dedicated to raising awareness about separated and reunified families and children at the border. We educate others on being allies and advocates and through our proximate trips to the border and our This Is About Humanitarian Fiscal Scholarship Fund at the International Community Foundation where we help support those individuals with essentials for living, access to legal services, mental wellness checkups, and other shelter projects. We also provide for a range of projects, including educational bus trips to the border, donations to legal services, construction projects at shelters, as well as material goods for unaccompanied minors. This is about humanity was founded in 2018. So as I mentioned before, they're celebrating their fifth anniversary and they had this beautiful soiree and it was wonderful to see Doria attend. And after reading about what this is about humanity was about, I could see why Doria was at the event. Being a former social worker in California in the past, I'm sure she had many clients involved with border issues and immigration. And with California was being a part of Mexico that was stolen. Um, and it's like a totally different type of podcast that I would love to discuss, but not on this one. Mama Doria looks stunning. The now yoga instructor definitely showed off her yogi legs and body in her summery dress that went incredibly well with the summery event. I am an autumn and winter girl, but I like spring and fine summer okay, as long as the temperature isn't above 85, we're good. And I really love seeing the family out and about, minding their own business, living their lives, not having crazy lunatics stalkers trap them <laughs> or feel like that they're being hostage or held hostage in their own homes um we got this you know we got to see harry you know he's working out at the gym that's you know close to his home we also got to see megan be out on the belt um with her agent and of course with herself she you know she does the um you know, she does the farmer's market shopping and um, Harry got to f- go f- fly to Asia for the Santa Bale event. And, and pretty soon we're going to be seeing both Harry and Meghan when they're in Europe. I mean, Harry's going to be doing his World Child event uh, for the World Child Awards. And of course, we're going to see both Harry and Meghan at the Aventus Games in Dusseldorf, Germany. So I'm looking forward to to all this i'm so happy that they're living their lives and thriving (laughs) and yeah i'm I'm really i'm really pleased about that 
And of course, I can't forget about the Kardashians. <laughs> um, I think that is really funny. Um, it, it's just crazy how the universe works. I remember doing a podcast like like three to four podcasts ago. I forgot. <laughs> but I remember doing like a What for Royal skit and uh, sometimes I have celebrities in it. Like I had um, I had the Kardashians in one of them. And um, well, the, not the Kardashians, but you know, my Kardashians, my interpretation of them. And they were like dragging KK Kate on her attire. And you know, Kim acting as if she's like, good friends with megan and <laughs> i guess found that funny but look at how look at how kim is fanning out over daria like <laughs> she is i mean she is a, a fan i mean i'm pretty sure she's a, a big fan of maybe she's just maybe she's a squatty who knows maybe she's a, a big fan of harry and megan and doria and um and of course chris let me look at her she's like but yeah, if I don't know, maybe maybe they're all friends already. I don't know. I mean, you could be. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna judge anybody. <laughs> I mean, everyone's humans at the end of the day. So I, I really, I mean, you don't really know someone. I guess behind the the cameras, behind the scenes. So I don't know what to say. I'm just I just think it's funny how how Kim is. I mean, look at her just taking. She's being a, a photographer in this picture, just taking a picture with her mom, taking a picture with her mom and, and Doria. Kim is how my inner self will be acting. Like if I seen Doria, I would be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I gotta take a picture with you, please, please, please. But like in real life, I wouldn't act like that. But. <laughs> <laughs> the enemy would i'll be so honored to meet her and um i mean not only because she's megan's mom and and, and harry's mother-in-law but just because she's she's dorish but like i mean she raised megan to be this incredible woman she really has and you can tell and she has a, a lot of her mannerisms and everything so i love that but um but yeah, uh, you know, she's a social worker. She's a, a yoga instructor. I believe she worked with uh, hospice patients before. And so Kim Kardashian, uh, I'm sure she could not. I mean, I'm sure they made her day. And um, I don't know, maybe, maybe like she got the word on the curve about her arriving there. So, of course, you know. <laughs> And that's all I see about that. I just, uh, I just find it funny, like these pictures, how she's acting, just how she's behaving. She's fanning out the same way a lot of us would, um, or a lot of our inner selves would. So, yeah, that's that's pretty cool to me. Um, but just imagine if Megan was there. Oh my god. <laughs> you can you like imagine like. I think the internet would probably be broken if there was a photo with Megan and Kim. And you know, like the, the press will have a field day about it. Like they'll be going on and on about it. It'll be crazy. So, I mean, just, just, just that's just my opinion. I like I don't know. We all have different opinions and different, you know, ways of seeing things. So. Um, some may see it as a bad thing, some may see it as a good thing, some may just, I mean, be indifferent about it. That's me. At the end of the day, Megan, she's a well known person, she's a celebrity. Uh, she's just like everybody else, just like all the um, world leaders are out there that the popular world leaders, they're celebrities as well. So, um, what for royals? They want to be celebrities, but. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you can call them celebrities too, I guess, but they're just like the bottom of the barrel of celebrities. Anywho, <laughs> and there's this really cute addition that I wanted to add into the podcast, and it was with Carrie Washington. She did an interview with Marie Claire earlier this year, like around March or so, and uh, they asked her what, it, what was the last book she read, and she told them, I'll let you hear for yourselves. Okay, here we go. Last book you read? Well, right now I'm reading Spare by Prince Harry. So I think that counts. I love seeing Megan's friends, you know, show support. I think it's great. 
and I just felt the need to add that into the podcast. So here goes the Waffle Rose Kids. I'm honored to be a part of the food once again, your royal highness. Your begging and crying was enough to fill my ego to walk you back with open arms. Kissing my bare feet was enough for me. At least you know your place, unlike my good-for-nothing brother. Family will always be a priority to me. I also write your paycheck. <laughs> Andrew, uh, are you seeing anyone at the moment? No, but I have been speaking with a beautiful young filly named Bridget. Bridget? Is she a brunette? Well, yes, do you know her? My God, she's 16 years old. Andy? What? I didn't know she was 16. She looks 26 to me. Turn on, baby. I have photos of Doria Raglan, surrounded by A-list billionaires who are treating her as if she is royalty. Oh, hello, William. And Andrew? I've seen her photos, Camilla, darling. Did you see her J. Crew dress? And Chloe's shoes? Where did she get those? You know I don't care about women's fashion. Don't you mean horse fashion? Or perhaps cow fashion? Ho ho ho. Walk shit. The Kardashians were falling all over. Me, me, Megan's mom. They never acted that way with my mom. That's because they can smell a frog when they see it. Shut up, body. You first, you mumbling idiot. Care for a drink, Kate? Jane and Tonic as his daughter. And out comes the drunks. Be married to you, like me to drinking. All you do is come, come, mm. Come on, idiot. Say it. Com- com- complain and what about Harry? And yes, I have to hear you complain about Meg and what she's wearing every day in my father's office. It's disgusting how jealous you two are of them. Jealous? jealous? Your jealousy of her with Meg's popularity got you to lose more hair. I'm surprised your sausage fingers haven't exploded from your fury. Ha! Fury? You're the one who's always incandescent with rage at everything involving Harold and his wife. Bottoms up! <laughs> you were surely jealous of Diana. At some point, her existence triggered your therapy. At this rate, I'm going to need a drink. I'll end this debate by demanding that all of you, out of my office, at once. And that's all for this podcast. And don't forget to catch Heart of Aventus tomorrow, August 30th, when it streams on Netflix. And in the meantime, I hope all your days are filled with blue skies, sunshines, with positive vibes. I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell. Also, join the membership. I have the links inside the description box. My name is Deanna, and you are watching Thriving with the Sessicists. Talk to you soon.